Hi there, welcome back to In the Studio here at Davis Media Access. I'm Autumn Labbe Renault, and today we're talking with some of my favorite people in the world, librarians. We're talking about the summer reading program at, through the Yolo County Library System, and I have with me today Scott Love and Patty Valdovinos, and welcome to both of you. Thank you, Adam. So my three kids went through the summer reading mm -hmm. program. We had a blast. We did it for years, and I'm so glad to hear it's going strong, and you're here today to tell us about it. So when does it start? What can we look forward to this year? We started on May 26th, um, and look for this year our, our theme is called Reading by Design, which is about STEAM activities, the uh, science, technology, engineering, Art. arts, and math. <laughs> and we have weekly programs going on um, at our library and, and all the libraries throughout the system. So it's been a while for me. How, do, how does it work? People sign up, and then what do they get for signing up? What are the incentives? The little kids get a bendable. Yes, the teens get a cube puzzle, which is like a Rubik's cube, and then a tote bag, or a tote bag. Um, adults, um, well, so there's two incentives depending on the age of the teen. Um, so it's either a cube puzzle, and then um, tweens get a maze, so the little ball with a little maze, and then they play around with it. Um, and then adults get a tote bag. Um, mm -hmm. And we had a whole competition over the design of the tote bag, too, so it's specific to this year only. Cool. So obviously, we know reading is great, and we want to encourage people to do that. So let's talk about some of the um, events that are associated that pull people into the library. I know there's always a lot happening at the library in the summer. Well, with teens, we have a Comic-Con going on um, in June, mm -hmm. and uh, the um, uh, first, first big event for the year is a Maker Fair we'll have for the oh, kids. Oh, cool. So when is that happening? Um... The Maker Fair is in June. Okay. Uh, and uh, what else is going on? So we're having a few uh, programs that are adult-focused, but also family-focused. Um, mm -hmm. So they're both. Um, we have the Bohart Museum coming doing family night. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the date on that. but um, And then we have the Aguas, uh, Aguas Fresca series, which is something that we're um, just starting. So Aguas Frescas is like basically Mexican um, fruit water. Mm -hmm. And so... The first one is a plant night, so you just come, come on over and we provide all the supplies. You're make, basically making a succulent garden, mm -hmm. um, and all the supplies have been donated. And then we also have paint night, which you're just painting a design that we have created for you, or you can do your own. And you'll be served aguas frescas, so whichever type. there's. We're usually trying to do three, so it's three types of aguas frescas, and you come and do your whatever we have planned that day. Okay, let's mention a website now where people can get the dates for the events mm -hmm. and, and other information. So um, our events calendar is on the yolocountylibrary.org webpage. Okay. Um, so if you go on there and you look, click on calendar, it should pop up. Um, not only the Davis Branch events, but also system-wide. Right, because we have how many libraries in the Yolo County we system? We have eight. Right. So, okay, um, so you mentioned the STEAM emphasis. Let's talk a little bit more about that. That's a hot topic, you know, in right. society today. It's a big deal in schools. So how does that play out through a summer reading program? It plays off with the, the events that we're having. Uh, we have a PVC pipe program one time. Um, What's we're going to have a building. What is it, the PVC pipe view? So um, we did it a bit during one of our like um, story times and basically the PVC pipe is just cut into different sizes and you just build with it so you're connecting it oh, and um, okay. basically just building whatever the kids want. Kind of like connect for on a really big Ooh. scale. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the kids had tons of fun of it, tons of fun during the story time they just built. It was um, for Women's History Month and so um, oh, cool. we were highlighting three different women and one of them was um, Rosie the Riveter and so that was right. connecting. So her. building. Yeah, building. Yeah. And it was really fun. They had a lot of fun. It was just um, our librarian went ahead and um, did it, and she just. Yeah. Um, so kind of hands on things mm -hmm. to, to really stimulate learning and curiosity right. about STEAM subjects. And uh, you mentioned art in there, too. So um, what's the art component? So the art component can come in different ways. Um, it can be highlighted within like 
um, so the, the plant making, right? So it's learning how to basically create um, a succulent garden and what goes in it, right? So right. that's like the the sciency part. Um, and also the art is creating it, right? Um, making it hands-on um, and making it the way you want it to like um, create and then paint the cans that it comes in in or things like that. Right. Okay. So walk me through coming in and signing up for the program. What do I need to do? And, and how is there a cutoff date by which I need to sign up? That kind of stuff. Well, the program, like, it starts on May 26. Actually, on, on that date, we're going to be at the River Cats game. Oh, fun. Okay. And doing sign-up there. So anyone can come to that. Um, we're selling tickets through this Tuesday. Coming Tuesday, if anyone wants to buy tickets, uh, they can just go on our website. Okay. And find the link to that. And the program will run through August 19. All right. But you can essentially sign up any time. Okay. During that time period. So if I come in as an adult, mm -hmm. most days I am. <laughs> Sometimes, depending on <laughs> If I come in as an adult and I sign up, I say, okay, that sounds good. I want to participate. What am I committing to? Reading a certain number of books? Reading a certain number of pages? Can I use e-readers? You can read anything you want. Um, you can read a book you have at home. We'd like you to come in and use, use a book at the library or, or read off of um, uh, one of our e-books that right. you, can, you can download from home. Um, but everything is timed reading this year. So, so instead of reading number of pages, so because you know we have slow readers and we have fast readers. Right. I personally am a slow reader, right. so we're doing timed reading every 15 minutes. Uh, like with the kids, they get um, credit for that, and for every five hours, mm -hmm. they get prizes. Oh, okay. That's actually really consistent with how the schools do reading logs, if my memory mm -hmm. serves correctly, for elementary school. All right, so I come in, and I'm, I'm a reader anyway, and I use the library, so I might as well sign up. I can get some benefit out of that, right? Exactly. All right, and for kids, obviously, we want to encourage them to be regular readers and to check out big stacks of books from the, from the library. Well, yeah, one of the important things with the kids, um, you know, realize when they're in their, in their school years is that they lose about two months of reading skills over the summer. Right. If instead they're reading during the summer, they read just a few books, they tend to gain about a month of reading skills. So it makes about a three-month difference. Right. If you think of that through kindergarten through even sixth grade, um, they can be a few grade levels behind if, if they don't read during the summer. Yeah, and I know that our branch here in library, the Mary J. Stevens branch, the kids area is so engaging. I mean, it's a really enriched environment. There's a lot of visual stimulation. There's a lot of great titles, and the librarians are super nice. They even help lost adults. <laughs> we do. Speaking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what else can you what can you tell us about the, the summer program that um, will entice people to, you know, come on in and check out the library this summer? Um, I do want to add that audiobooks also count as um, a way to read, listen. Um, listen, you are processing the same way as if you were reading a book, okay. so that's really cool, and it, there, um, we have audiobooks located on our Overdrive app through the library as well, um, but yeah, it, um, audiobooks don't get mentioned as much, and that also counts. So if you haven't, a uh, related question, if you haven't used the e-readers or the audiobooks through the library before, is there is there a process, a separate process you need to sign up for, or a tutorial or anything? There are tutorials mm -hmm. um, online, it's it's fairly simple to do, but we're also there if you want to give us a call and tell us what device you have. Okay. But you just you go onto the, the library website and there's a link called Overdrive. Okay. And does it work for Nooks and Kindles and iPads and everything? Basically alike? about okay. everything. Okay. All right, yeah. cool. It's interesting to hear about the audiobooks because people do learn in different ways or they're visually impaired mm -hmm. and they can't read, so yeah. it's a really great option. All right, your website, once again, is? YoloCountyLibrary.org. Okay. And also, um, I've gotten there by just going to YoloCounty.org, mm -hmm. and there's a click right mm -hmm. at the top for, for a library. So either way, we'll get you there. Um, let's see if we can hold up one of these flyers for a second. You can go ahead and hold it, Patty, and just look at the camera, and maybe they can <laughs> zoom in on it. And tells a little bit. So, okay, so today we've been talking about the summer reading program through the Yolo County Library, and I want to thank uh, Scott and Patty for being with us here today. And if people have any questions, what's a general number for the library, too? 530-457-5595. Um, Great. Thanks so much. So you've been watching in the studio, and get out there and read or listen. Thanks. <laughs>